First, I want to say that I love you so much and that you are so gorgeous and you honestly take my breath away. Today, I make my vows to you. I remember the night that the Lord spoke to me at the church while in prayer. He said to love you and to cherish you just as he does love the church. I promise today to love you and to cherish you as we journey through our life together. I know that in this journey, it may not be easy. We may face many storms and many valleys, but I know there will be mountaintops and victories that will come after them. I promise when we are in the valleys, when we are in the storms, I will run to him first in prayer and hold your hand all the way through. I promise to be your safe place, a place where you can feel protected in the darkest moments of life. Whether in sickness or in health, I promise that you will feel safe with me. I know that the Lord has placed a harvest before us, and I know that He is calling us to a region. And I promise to strive to reach every soul that the Lord will send us to. Selena, when I prayed for a powerhouse ministry, the Lord outdone Himself. I never deserved a helpmate like you. And today I promise to strive to be the man of God and helpmate in your life that I've always prayed to be. I can't promise that I'll be perfect, but I can promise I can strive and dig with everything in me to be the man God has called me to be in your life. I love you so much. And here today as I've made these vows, you need to know these vows are not temporary, but know that these vows are forever. I'm so ready to spend forever with you. Zach, on January 7, 2017, I met Jesus, and it's because of him I stand here today. Hill heard not only a cry, but a triumphant cry of a new birth, and since that day, Hill's been out to destroy my life in this union. But today, I choose to fight that God's, that God's words are proven final. Victory is won, and he is faithful to every promise, dream, and prophecy ever spoken. I remember the night I knelt down after many hurts and said, Lord, can I intentionally and effortlessly love again? And he spoke back, you can. And from that moment, I loved you. So today I make my vows to you as Romans 12 and 10 says, I vow to devote myself to you in love and to honor you above myself. I vow that with our marriage, he'll will always hear a cry from us. I promise to submit myself to your authority and to your headship. I promise to let you lead without limits resistance or hesitation <laughs> I promise <laughs> I promise to love you when our world shake and I promise to support every calling dream and vision you have for ministry I promise to strive to raise our future future children with a love for Jesus prayer and ministry I vow to love your family as I would mine, and I vow to stay through every battle, spiritual struggle, mental and financial battle. Zachary, today I vow to give you, to give you all of me, and forevermore take your hand in this race. Let's run a rescue mission one yard from Hell's Gates. This union is the power of the gospel. The blood won. The blood wins. Mercy wins. Grace wins. God is a God of second chances. And God is a God of restoration. And God is a God that can turn things around and give you what hell said you could not have. What you thought you destroyed, God can pick it up. Put the pieces back together like it never was broken. This entire platform screams, the blood of Calvary, the blood of Jesus, win. When you look at all of our lives, you can't help but say, thank you, Jesus. Thank hey, God of heaven, I don't know what all God's gonna do through you two children, but it's gonna be powerful, praise God. I tell you, hell shakes today at the union of this ministry. And at the bond that has taken place today.
they have committed to each other in front of you and the Lord and us. The power invested in me by the Lord, the state of Alabama, I now pronounce you husband and wife. It's an inside joke here. <laughs> Zach, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Zach Carnley.